All right, Shark Fights 13. The results are in, and lots of decisions, uh, but a couple of surprises and some interesting fights. The main event, Trevor Prangley defeating Keith Jardine via split decision. Jardine uh, tried to valiantly uh, uh, come through in the end there, and uh, with, with a couple of flurries that Prangley was able to absorb and uh, withstand and still come away with the victory. A non-title fight, though. Uh, Prangley already the title holder for the uh, uh, division. Yeah. So he's a title holder, but this wasn't a title fight. This title is kind of like fight. one of those, yeah, whatever. Just in case. We yeah, were both. exactly. But it wasn't necessary, as now I think this is the fifth straight loss for one Dina B. Keith Jardine. And uh, this, I, I think if he would have won this fight, he would have gotten picked back up by the UFC. Just one fight. Now he's going to have to win two or three outside the promotion to come back. Still got a viable name. He could still fight for Shark Fights or, or some of these other MFC or, or any of these other promotions, uh, uh, mid to low level promotions. But the guy is just not getting on the winning side, and, and he's never going to find himself uh, back in. But what, what did you think about this? You know, you know, I mean, just, you know, you can say, oh, it was, it, was, it was a close fight. You know, split decision. I was surprised with that. But, uh, you know, it, it's one of those deals that, that Trevor Prangley, you know, he's just a guy that's going to hang around. And that's the biggest problem with, with Keith Jardine. You know, he's either going to get knocked out right away. Back when he got when he was with the UFC, he's going to get knocked out right away, or he's in the fight. Yeah. But he's kind of, uh, you know, not saying the same pace, of course. But with, with his style, he's he can make any fight close. Remember the oh, yeah, uh, he can fight Machida or Shogun right now. Yeah. And he can give them a run, uh, you know, and hang with them. But... Decision, but he just I think it's his style, and when he gets hit, it, it, you know, he almost emphasizes the other guy's strike. You know, he, like the uh, it's funny is. I think he thoroughly dominated his fight, uh, the, the stand-up battle with Chuck Liddell. Remember when he got oh, that yeah. decision? But there was people in the crowd, people you know listening to us, who said, oh, no, it was close, and they had Chuck. Which, even there, which I didn't agree with, but even there, he looked at what we thought a striking do dominated him in the striking match, yet it still was close in some of those eyes. So in this situation with Trevor Frangley, I, I thought watching this fight, it was more sad than yeah. I mean, I, Trevor is a great guy, but Trevor is shark fights. Yeah. Trevor is journeyman. journeyman. He's a Bodog guy, IFL you know level guy. You know, maybe strike force, but I don't think he's you know he's not going to succeed in strike force. He's, he's a name every once in a while. And but uh, this is a fight I felt that Keith Jardine uh, should have won. I mean, right after it on Twitter, he, it was just sad. I guess mm -hmm. he was Keith Jardine was dejected. You know, but it, it was a tough this. On the positive side, to give Keith Jardine credit and, and, and the guys over at his fight camp, they put him in there with a tough guy. Yeah. And, I, and I think they were looking at it like you said. A victory here gets him into the UFC, mm -hmm. or gets him back to the UFC. And, uh, but a loss here is devastating. Yeah. And I don't know if it, it's doing as much for Trevor. Is Trevor going to now, I mean, he's a title holder, but is he going to go somewhere? I don't know. I still think he's at the strike force. No, I think he's he's still going to be he's a very viable journeyman fighter. Yeah, he's still got a name. But speaking of journeyman, does this permanently entrench Keith Jardine as a journeyman himself? I mean, especially when you said five fights in a row, yeah, across. Wow. you know. So I, that is terrible. I, I think maybe you know it's going to take a couple of wins. I think if they do it again, I mean, you can see how they could justify doing it again at this time for a title mm -hmm. split decision, the flurry at the end, yeah. but. Uh, you know, I know we, we've harped on it, but, it, you know, Keith Jardine just didn't seem to have that sense of urgency, too. Yeah. But it's his style. I, I just think that there's a time. There's a time when you retire, you know, and, it, and it, it's difficult. But, you know, when, when it's, it, you know, him being a busier fighter, that's his thing. But lately when he's fighting, at least in the UFC, he's fighting good strikers, he's getting knocked out. Well, now when he's not being knocked out, if he still can't win a fight, Right. Then I think it's time, and I think when you're not beating the Trevor Frangley, reevaluate. You've got to reevaluate. You maybe get into coaching. Uh, you know, Greg Jackson. I think is, is it, you know, they're really close. I think that that's kind of a, where he's going to end up. Because it just, I couldn't help but feel anything other than sadness after that fight. And I kind of wanted him to win, but yeah, well, too bad. In other fights here, we had an entertaining, uh, very exciting. This was everything that we expected it to be. Houston Alexander, Randy Otieri, Sofia Ju. Uh, and this one, early on, Sokaju was pounding Alexander. There was an opportunity if the ref wanted to. It would have been maybe a little bit of controversial stoppage, but they could have stopped it in favor of Sokaju TKO win on that side. On the other side, though, the problem that has always dogged Sokaju is that he's got that early burst of energy, and he, he ended up punching himself out, and that's what happened. Got into the second round, and he just didn't have it. 
uh, Alexander, to his credit, because he's had that same problem yeah. of punching himself out, he ended up having some, you know, epiphany that uh, all of a sudden, boom, he's got this burst of energy, and he was able to unload a flurry like none other on Sobhaji. He could have stopped it a lot earlier than they actually did. Yeah, I know. When he put his hands up before the referee, he yeah. stopped and like, hey, what do you think? I'll go ahead and walk over here for a minute. You want to dig his bolt? <laughs> Check it out. Why, why don't you? But Alexander, uh, you know, is it a sex where he's back? But, or is it just a situation where he was matched up with uh, a, a fighter of a similar style and he was able to get the uh, upper hand in this one? You know, great, I think a great matchup, you know, and it, it really uh, kind of was, was everything you thought it would be going in. And this is what people want. This Houston Alexander, not even just a victory, I mean, which is great, but I think this Houston Alexander would not have been cut from the no, UFC. No, no. I think this guy no. fighting Kimbo. Does the, I was about to say, does this erase the memory of the Kimbo? I don't know. I, see, you know, looking back, of course, even then, remember when the fight happened with Kimbo? Um, we thought, oh, crap, Kimbo's going to be in his first opportunity with a real MMA striker. He's going to be in trouble. I still think if you could have, whatever got into Houston's head that was made him afraid of Kimbo, I don't know. if he wouldn't have been there, because I, I, I say so could you versus Kimbo, so could you win that fight. Yeah. I say, you know, just his normal balls out thing. But, you know, we kind of kid, we're joking about you know Sokaju's cardio, but it's almost becoming you know, too repetitive. Yeah, yeah, I don't understand. I mean, I know his knee was taped to, you know, I mean, I can't believe how much tape they put on his uh, here. I know. Kick me, kick me. Yeah, he's always he's always kind of had that. Sometimes they they do those. Um, sometimes he puts the tape on him too, and it's not just for support, but what do they call it for? Like sort of, yeah. some sort of a. A support or energy type of uh, transference or something. Well, he's got all kinds of energy going on at me. That's a hot spot. Uh, yeah, there you go. But yeah, so he, so he looked like that. But I mean, just coming out, you knew. I mean, both of us knew when when Sokaju came out in that second round, it was over. Yeah. He didn't look like you. He, he's like, you know what, I'm done. But I just don't get it. He must have a severely injured knee, or he cannot do car. I mean, he looks like great. He uh, uh, looks oh, like a dog. But, so he's doing something, or yeah. he's just eating well. But, I mean, how can you not be doing cardio when you know that you're going to be, unless he thought, like us, this is going to be the best one round of fight, and he had. There was a couple of times I thought Houston Alexander was done, mm -hmm. you know, when you're saying about the controversial stuff. And, and you know, he survived it and won the fight. But I think a, a strong wind would have won that second <laughs> round, dude. There was a yeah. second you was looking for a place to go. Yeah, he was. It's too bad. I would like to see this fight every fight card. I'd like to see those two oh, guys yeah. fight every time. And I tell you what, and I'm going to get the if I don't have them up uh, on the, the lightsoutshow.com yet, they're going to be coming up uh, soon because I know how to get uh, many of these fights up on the lightsoutshow.com. So check it out, uh, the shark fights uh, on the lightsoutshow.com. Yeah. But here's the thing that I think it makes it all worthwhile financially for the fighters. This fight was awarded by Shark Fights as Fight of the Night. And now, of course, now at UFC, they've got uh, bonuses upwards of, what, $85,000 yeah. in that. So, uh, you know, this one, I think, very comparable. Oh, or maybe not. $2,500. Yeah. Even the, even the WEC guys are what? <laughs> yeah, what up now? Exactly. What do you think wow. of 145? <laughs> the fly went to like, hey, what do you like of me? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> Uh, that one goes out to Miguel. Yeah, uh, that's he, right. uh, Sorry, that came out totally wrong. We appreciated that one. That so, actually, yeah, that was <laughs> so uh, anyway, $2,500. And it wasn't knockout of the night, submission of the night, fight of the night. That was it. Just one fight, knockout, or excuse me, fight of the <laughs> night, 2500 bucks each. Or, or maybe they split it. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Split it. You know, it was like checks. Hope they don't bounce. Yeah, so anyway, uh, but we'll, we'll stop here. Yeah. We'll, okay, we'll stop here. we got some more fights on Shark Fight, so stick around.